what is menopause yes so menopause meno means menstruation and pause means cessation so that means the end of your menstruation or the end of your menstrual cycle is menopause there are many changes that happen during this time and before this we call as perimenopause and after this we call it as a post menopausal period but technically menopause means now no menstruation what are the symptoms of menopause yes so the most common symptoms that you will observe in your daily life is irregularity of your menstrual cycle and which can happen maybe 2 to 3 years till you actually attain menopause this happens why because hormones start to fall down the ovaries will produce less of estrogen and there is an imbalance between estrogen progesterone lh fsh and so many things are going on so this is a natural phase of your cycle but for women who have heavy flow for women who have bleeding in between periods we need to evaluate those for so first thing are the menstrual changes that happen other than that there are psychological changes in the form of mood swings anxiety irritability even some feel depressed at this point of time and for some women there are hot flashes so hot flashes means you feel hot at any time of the day they are transient they last for few seconds but it is one of the very common symptoms that that we see If a woman at a young age also experiences the same we still need to find out that what it is due to other than that there are changes in the urogenital tract means the urinary tract and the genital tract urinary tract includes your bladder your urethra the kidneys and the ureters so what happens the fall in hormone levels will lead to decrease in estrogen level and this will lead to thinning of the lining of these areas which leads to more chances of getting urinary infections more cystitis more urethritis in the genital tract what will happen the uh, the vaginal passage gets narrowed you not only feel itching but there is dyspareunia means difficulty in having intercourse or sometimes even bleeding because the tissue has become so much thinned out so the menstrual changes psychological changes urinary tract your genital tract and so many other changes other than that the bones become weak so tendency to fracture becomes very high you have bone pains you have osteoarthritis if you go for a dexa scan or a bone density scan you will see most of them have osteopenia so in women we in india there are there is lot of osteopenia because they hardly take care of their bones so bone health also gets disturbed even the risk of heart attack rises so heart health also goes at a toss for women after menopause how can one handle the complications of menopause ah uh, see firstly we should know that what is happening is a natural phase of your cycle for your psychological symptoms for hot flashes they will stabilize in some point of time you need to see that you are not overweight at this point of time you are exercising regularly you are eating healthy you are not eating as much as you ate in your 30s and 40s because now you are grown up not too much of alcohol and smoking Uh, keep your hypertension in check keep your heart health in check see what you are eating how much you are exercising are you looking after your bones are you going for regular health checkups so many things are important and each body part is equally important starting from your eye ear i will undergo changes after menopause you must have seen so many women undergoing cataract surgeries as well and even the cancer risk rises as you age so there are many things which need to be handled even at this age although it is end of your menstruation uh, and end of your reproductive phase but there are other challenges which keep coming after menopause so if you have good knowledge if you are in touch with your family physician or with your gynecologist it will help you cope up, cope up in so many other ways what are the recommended tests after menopause see if we talk of women cancers 
the most common women cancer worldwide and now also in india is the breast cancer we have seen that the age of breast cancer earlier was above 50 any cancer was above 50 only but now even 25 to 50 years we need to be equally vigilant whether it is breast cancer whether it is cervical cancer we have one of the highest incidence of cervical cancers in the world then ovarian cancer which is diagnosed very late so if we are not going for regular health checkups we will never know it is usually diagnosed in stage 3 or stage 4 there are uterine cancers which usually happen after menopause and women who bleed after menopause should get themselves checked to rule out endometrial or a uterine cancer so there are many cancers depending on what kind of symptomatology what is the health checkup if we do health checkup regularly but if we don't take action also it will not help is it common to have interrupted sleep during menopause yes the sleep gets disturbed of course one reason is hot flushes another reason is that you are undergoing so many changes mentally as well physically also you feel tired you don't have the same energy as you have at a younger age you are not able to cope up at work sometimes uh, sometimes kids have grown up they don't give you time so you feel lonely you feel depressed and this leads to less of sleep cycle your sex life also gets altered after menopause because you feel uncomfortable so there are many reasons which is disturbing your sleep sometimes you are not working as efficiently after menopause as you did at a younger age you are fighting with your own body and uh, you don't know what to do but this time usually passes for everyone only thing what we need is patience